Hi guys, I'm Pastor Mitch and welcome to your word for the day. Do you find it easy to forgive or to be kind to people? See, most of us can really struggle with this. It's easy to be kind to others when they're kind to us, but God doesn't give us much leeway in this area. In fact, Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 13 says this, Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tenderhearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. So my question for you today is, how do other people see you? Are you someone who embodies these traits? Or you like me, and maybe you have some work to do. How would your coworkers define you? How, how do they see you? Maybe how do your family members see you? What about your friends or your children or maybe even your children's teachers? To them, do they think that you have mercy, kindness, humil humility, gentleness, and patience? See, that's a huge order for us to follow, but it defines for us what it means to be a follower of Christ. See, Jesus shares this parable with us. Uh, a parable is a story meant to shed some light on our relationship with God. You're going to find it in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18. It's called the parable of the wicked servant. Uh, verse 21 starts off, it says, Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servant. And as he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold was brought to him. And since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. And at this, the servant, he fell on his knees before him. He said, be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him. He canceled the debt and he let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and, and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. And his, servant, uh, his fellow servant fell to his knees and he begged him, be patient with me and I'll pay it back. But the servant refused. Instead, he went off and he had the man thrown in prison until he could pay the debt. And when the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged. And they went and they told their master everything that had happened. And then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant. He called him that. And then he says, I canceled all the debts of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servants just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he could pay back all that he owed. This is how my, my heavenly father will treat each other, or each, treat each of you, unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. See, we've been forgiven, so we're also called to forgive. We're called to all these things because, because Christ did it for us first. So again, I ask you, do you have mercy and kindness humility, gentleness, and patience? Is this how the people in your life would describe you? If not, then today I challenge you to take a few moments and begin to change the way that people see you. Go ahead and feel free to like this video and share it with your friends and family. I want to thank you for tuning in to your word for the day, and we will see you tomorrow.